What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to put a text behind a moving subject in LumaFusion. Now, instead of just having your text in front of like overlay of your video, sometimes it's cool to put it behind the object or like the subject. It's kind of cool looking. It's not that hard. It looks pretty complicated, but um, once you get the handle of it, it's really cool and really fun to use in your videos to kind of spice things up a bit. Let's head on over to the iPad. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So, as you can see, the text is behind the four-wheeler, and you can even see it within the, like, different parts of the four-wheeler. It's really detailed, um, and so I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to start over. I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. So here's the original video, which is just this. Um, so... The first thing you're gonna do is create a overlay title, uh, go into edit, and then get rid of the text, add a new shape, and um, let's change the scale to where it covers the full frame, and then change the color to a color that is not in the video so in this video there's not really any green so I'm gonna use the color green but if your video did have green then you could use red or blue or anything so I'm just gonna be using uh, green in this video so what you're gonna do is duplicate uh, your original video and place it on top of the title and make the title the same length as the video go into edit on the video and you're going to go to this keyhole right up here. Uh, click that. And it depends on which one you want to use depending on the colors in your video. So what I'm going to do is use the blue screen key. And I want to make everything white green. Because that's where the text is going to go is in the green space. So I'm going to play around with the hue, the saturation, and the brightness to try to get everything to be green except for me in the four-wheeler because that's what I want the text to be behind. So I'm gonna fidget with these for a little while and see if I can get just the all the white and not me. So I think this is as close as I'm gonna get. Um, so as you can see right below me there still is um, stuff that's not green but the text isn't gonna be there so that's okay and there is a little bit of green inside the wheels right here um, and right here and even on my goggles a little bit uh, and that's not that good because you don't want that there but as you can see everything else is outlined pretty well so I'm okay with that the text shouldn't be really going through uh, the wheels so it's just gonna be mainly right here by my body which everything right there is pretty well outlined. That's gonna be it for that. So now you're gonna go back. Once you have everything that is green that you want to be, or whatever color you chose, you're going to take the video and put it a layer above the other one with a space in the middle, and that's where you're gonna put your text. So you can create another overlay title, put it right there in the middle, create, make it the same length, go into edit on the title. As you can see, it's right behind it. See how I'm moving it around? And it goes behind the the subject. It goes behind the subject. So as you can see right there, that's remember the part that wasn't green right below me? So that's why that's not showing up right there. But for this up here, this is good. So I'm going to change my uh nope. I'm going to change my font to text behind moving subject I think I spelled that right and I can move that wherever but as you can see I put it up here above in the trees I didn't have the highlighted green so it's not there but whatever I had highlighted green it it's now there but as you can see it starts to go away when I put it behind what I had highlighted so if I place it right here and play the video For the most part, 
it's behind me. As you can see right about here, you can start to see the letters in the stripe of my coat because I couldn't have that highlighted green. So you really have to work on it, get it to be fully behind the subject. As you can see right there, um, it comes up right there in that little tag on the four wheeler. But for the most part, like right here, it's pretty good from being behind it. Um, if I were to place it down here, it might be a little bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, so that's just pretty cool how it's right here and then it just starts to hide behind whatever you had not highlighted in green. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. You just have to place the video over top of a colored shape and then work the chroma key to make it so everything but your object is green. And in this case, I didn't need to do the trees because I just wanted the white because I'm not putting the text up there. And then you take that video and place it on top of your other one with the text in the middle between them as you can see right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you learn how to put a text behind a moving subject in LumaFusion. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe. That would be very nice. And like the video, comment what I should do next in uh, future videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. See you next Thursday.